I think modern society has become too much self-engrossed and self-centered. And that has taken away our human relationship, which is the heart of all the Abrahamic religions. Whenever I give importance, let's say, to the wealth, God is the one who gives the wealth. But I might use wealth for self-aggrandizement, becoming too important because I'm wealthy and I become arrogant. This arrogance that is generated by my giving too much importance to something that is transient is known as polytheism. I make my body an idol. I worship my body. I look at the mirror a thousand times a day and take pride in the muscles and everything that I grow, you know. Instead of thanking God for this blessing, I give myself importance. See the way I am. I'm so strong. I'm so invincible. And this is what is polytheism. That means I'm giving myself too much importance. Whereas I know that I'm a temporary being. I'm in, I'm in a transient situation. I will not live here forever. Pride causes us to become arrogant. And arrogance is something that is very much decried in the Quran. In Allah la yumuhibbul mutakabbirin, God does not love arrogant people. Arrogance is some kind of self righteous attitude. It is generated by that. And they are both defeatist. Self righteous attitude is the source of our intolerance. Arrogance the same way. False pride is also the same way. I'd never do wrong. That's a pride. It's a false pride because as a human being, I will fall short one day. Something, something will happen which will show my human character, my human weakness. That false pride takes away my ability to be humble. That which really destroys religion is pride. self glorification of some sort. We are the saved people of God. The moment we become arrogant, that's the time when we really need to check what kind of false pride am I holding? Why is this arrogance so, so much in control of me? You know? And that's when you realize that, no, I think there's a room for me to be humble and to abandon the pride. There are times when you take a pride in your ability to stand for the truth, to fight against injustices. You say, I'm proud that I did that. At the time that I was tested, I stood firm in what I believed. Now, that pride is not negative. Pride can be um, described as something that you commonly achieve and you look at it as something formative to your own life. It's a, your transformation in that. And that transformation is actually what you are priding about, not a false pride. The moment you lose your human connection, your humanness, then you should be worried about your pride. Self-deception is connected with the false pride. It is connected with so many things that we do in religion. And self-deception is a grievous sin in the Quran, by the way. It's one of those sins that is not accounted for in Aristotelian system because it is done individually. You see, Aristotle in his ethics says that if you do wrong, there should be someone else to whom you do wrong. You can't do wrong to yourself. The Quran treats self-deception as doing wrong to yourself. You're deceiving yourself that you are a good person. You're not. You're deceiving yourself that you are an honest person. You're not. So there's the self-deception is very much... Um, I think is the most dangerous element which burns the faith like the fire burns the wood. The Quran describes these things as satanic because they are, this was the work of Satan when he said, I'm better than you or I'm better than Adam. You know, when God created Adam, God asked, according to the Quran, God asked Satan to bow down to Adam. He said, no, hell, I will not bow down to someone you created out of the soil. I'm made of fire. I'm more important than him. And he uses, the word Satan uses in the Quran is, anakhirun minhu, I'm better than him. And this is the source of all the social illness. I'm better than him. 
racism, all kinds of isms that we find today that are part of the social ills. We find them connected to this whole question of self-deception, self-righteous attitude, uh, whereby even religious people commit this sin, by the way, quite inadvertently. I am a Muslim. I am the only one who will be saved on the Day of Judgment. That's not only self-deceiving. It's not only self-righteousness. It's something that damages my faith completely. 